Trinity International takes a 4-1 uh, loss here at the opening round of the NAIA National Tournament uh, against Barton Methodist. Here with head coach Patrick Gilliam. Uh, coach, I just first off, give some of your thoughts on the game. Yeah, I think uh, obviously I'm pretty proud of the ladies. I mean, the scoreline. I think the first thing I said to them after the game is that the scoreline isn't really a true indicator of probably how the 90 minutes went. Um, you know, to be five minutes from the end of regulation, 1-1. Um, right in the match, and in fact, probably maybe uh, equal number of quality scoring chances um, was definitely encouraging. And then just the way that we played, I thought, I thought that we stuck to our style. Um, we tried to, to move the ball on the ground, play quick passes, break them down the way we talked about in the scouting, and, uh, and we did that. We probably moved the ball in attack better than we did in two of the three conference tournament games. So. You know, I just told him here, I said, I said, we actually got better since last Saturday. To be at this special time of the year and not just be maintaining, but actually getting better as a team. I mean, we got better over a week of travel and, and practices and cold weather and things like that. I mean, I'm extremely proud of them. I, uh, you know, the scoreline is hard. It's, it's always been hard for me as a soccer coach. It doesn't look like it's a close match, but I think if you were here to see the game, you know that it was a very tight match. And, and uh the shots, I think, were almost equitable, and so we played uh, right, right with uh, a very tough team and a, a perennial uh, top 10, top 15 team. So, obviously, you didn't get the uh, the result you wanted, but what does a game like this and uh, the kind of the last couple weeks of this season, uh, what does that mean for the program in terms of your alumni and uh, especially uh, your seniors going out this year? Well, this senior class, in fact, one of them just talked about it. Put. Uh, had said at the end of their freshman year, they said, we want to get back to the NAIA tournament. So this senior class, when they were freshmen, which seems like ages ago, but uh, sat down and said, they came into my office and actually sat down with me and collectively said, we want to get back to the NAIA tournament. And, um, we've been working at that ever since. Their sophomore year, uh, tough regular season, but we made that run to the Christian College National Final. I think that gave them a little taste of it. Last year, we had a great recruiting year, and put ourselves a little more on the map NAI-wise, got nationally ranked, but then fell short at the end of the year. Went 5-5 five and five in our last 10 games, and and so we looked more NAI-ready, but fell off at the end of the year. So we talked a lot this offseason about finishing and finishing well. And, um, you know, I think now getting here, getting a taste of this kind of uh, tournament experience, uh, making that run in the conference tournament, and just, if anything, I think they believe a little more in themselves. Um, I think most of the year I've probably been the one kind of saying, come on guys, really see, look in the mirror and see what you're capable of doing. And I feel like in the last two to three weeks they've done that. They wouldn't have played the way they have if it was just me believing in them. So I think now they believe in themselves. Um, the big challenge I think, Greg, is to try to learn from it. I, I've told both teams, the men and the women, that we're going to really unpack the seasons. We're, we can just feel good and know, hey, it was a pretty good run, and, but we're really going to break it down and study it. Um, back down at the NAI tournament working as a, as a member of the tournament committee and you know I'll try to learn from that experience unpack the seasons and and see if we can't uh, be even um, smarter and how we go about it in the future. Right, coach congratulations on a, a successful season and uh, best of luck next year. Thanks Greg.